Hi everyone, my name is Michaela from Peak Physio and today we'll be going through a Pilates mat series. Now, today's focus will be mostly on our arms, so all you'll need for today's session is a nice comfortable mat, a pillow if you need a little bit more head support and some light hand weights. Alternatively, if you don't have any weights at home, then something like a small can of beans can be used as well. So let's jump into it then, shall we? So we'll start off right on our back and with a nice, gentle warm up. So, lying on our back, we're going to gently rock our hips forwards and back here. So, to do this movement, hands in the front of our hip bones, gently tucking the pelvis down, and then as we come back up, flattening our low back nice against the mat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, once we've done a few of these and we're feeling nice and warm, let's find your middle position from these two. So, that should be where there's a small enough curve underneath the low back for a trail of ants to run through. So in regards to the rest of your body, your feet should be roughly in line with your sit bones, okay? And you're gently gonna drive through your heels to lift up into a bridge, and then you're gonna roll down level by level. Peeling the pelvis up at the bottom, lifting level by level, lowering back down, beautiful. Feels really, really nice to be introducing movement into this area. Beautiful. Now with this movement here, hips should be lifted so that they're in a nice straight line with our knees and shoulders as well. Beautiful. Alrighty. Now we can either keep going at this level Okay, with your hands down by your supply, by your sides, feel nice and supported. Or alternatively, if you'd like to make this exercise a little bit more challenging, you can cross both hands on your chest. Lifting and lowering. Good. Squeezing the glutes at the top as you drive through your heels to lift up through here. Beautiful. Let's do a couple more before we start to add our arms in. Four, three, two, and last one. Beautiful. Relaxing down through here. We're gonna grab our hand weights next. So we're gonna be lifting up through the hips as we're here. Bending at our elbows, lowering the hips back down. So in this position, our hands should be so our thumbs are pointing up towards us. So lifting, bending those elbows, straightening back down, lowering those hips. Good. Beautiful. And you can go at whichever pace is comfortable for you. But ideally, nice and controlled movements throughout. Now, if anyone has any niggly elbows, I'm happy for you to avoid um, extending those arms completely and keeping a nice, soft bend as we lift and lower our hips. Beautiful. Glutes should be nice and away here. Remembering to breathe as we drive and lift our hips up. Beautiful, should be feeling nice and warm. A couple more while we're here. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. 
Now for this next one, we're gonna gently bring our elbows out wide. So they should be roughly just below shoulder height. This time we're gonna drive through our heels to lift, chest press up. So the dumbbells are just feet in the middle, slowly lowering back down and lowering the hips at the same time. Lifting up and lowering back down. So there's a little bit of a coordination component to today as well. Beautiful. Perfect. Now, if anyone has any niggly shoulders, what you could do is try lowering the weight, okay? But ideally, um, if any of these do bring on any kind of pains or niggles, avoiding this exercise, okay? Lifting and lowering. Nice. Now, as the hands are coming down and those elbows bending, ideally not letting them go flat, but lowering so they're just shy of the mat here. Beautiful. Perfect. Let's do three, two, last one on this next one. Thumbs are gonna be turning up towards the sky. Good, so as we're lifting, hands coming together, and as we're lowering, hands coming out nice and wide. Again, elbows just shy of the ground here. Perfect. Beautiful. Glutes and arms should be nice and warm here. So, keep it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Beautiful, relaxing those arms. Feel free to rock those knees side to side. Beautiful work, guys. Alrighty. So now we're gonna wake our abs up here as well. So what we're gonna do is gently draw your belly button down towards the spine. You're gonna engage your lower abdominal, so making sure there's tension in this region here. Okay, and throughout today, you wanna to make sure that you're not arching back up and making sure that your um, spine is nice and tucked into the mat here. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna lift our weights up, so our wrists should be in line with shoulders here. Lifting one foot up and gently floating it down towards the mat. So it should be a nice, slow and controlled movement. Okay, and knee is only coming in to about 90 degrees here. Beautiful. And switching sides. Good. Nice, slow and controlled movements. Um, you can even keep going at that level here, or you can come up into tabletop, floating one leg down at a time. This time, alternating legs. The wrist should be nice and still here. Beautiful. should be nice and awake Good. keeping that back nice and tucked here now again you can still keep going at this level if you like alternatively as left leg lowers your opposite arm is lifting nice and above overhead Good. beautiful abs should be nice and turned on Alrighty. And 
And as the opposite arm is reaching out, the other arm should be as still as possible here. Okay. Here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Feel free to have a quick rest if you need. Alternatively, powering through. So this time hands are going to come up overhead, lowering weights here. Beautiful. So we're activating our triceps. Abs should be nice and awake. And again, not losing tension through our lower abdominals here. And keeping our knees as still as possible. Ready. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, beautiful work. Relaxing those weights down side to side, windscreen wiping out those knees. Beautiful work, everyone. And we'll also add in a nice knee to chest as well. And gently roll into a gentle circle here. Beautiful work, guys. And up the other way. Coming back up when you're ready. Well done today, everyone. Abs and arms should be on fire. Um, we've all done a really good job today and I look forward to seeing you at our next class.